guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, then thank you so much for coming back. So I'm just going to address the little situation. We have had the most jam-packed weekend as a family. Been to the beach hut and done loads of things. So we've currently got like things that we took with us, hairbrushes, nail files, and random stuff scattered everywhere that currently need to go upstairs. And I'm in my PJs as well because I'm just not always dressed. Most of the time indoors, I am in my PJs. And I thought I'm going to stop just getting ready for the sake of a video. I might as well just show you the real me. Um, so grab yourselves a nice cup of tea and some snacks. And today's video is going to be an Emma Bridgewater collection. So I get asked very, very often, can you show us your full collection of Emma Bridgewater? Because I think some of you love Emma Bridgewater as well. And I'm gonna go through and show you now. Bear in mind, the house is a little bit messy, but it's a real life, real, real house of a real life <laughs> of a family of five with kids. Um, and I don't edit my video, so I can't obviously cut it out and snip it. So I'm just sh filming it like this. I'm gonna go off now and you'll go into my dining room, which currently still has my Ikea bag on the table full of the stuff that I need to do. Also got chairs filled with dry clothes that are drying. And we're gonna go on to my dresser. So this is the place where the majority of my Emma Bridgewater collection is. Um, and I do have a lot of plates. So I'm gonna go through and basically talk to you all about when I got them and you know, just show them off quickly. I'm not gonna go too long into it. But I did get, the very first piece of Emma Bridgewater that I ever got was these kind of sets here. So I've got the Millie, Archie and Alfie mugs and the Mr and Mrs play. I got these personalized. These were for when we just got married and, and we moved into our house and wanted them on the dresser. Now these are in the winter style pattern. So this is actually a Christmas pattern, but I loved it because it really went nice with the sage green sort of color of the dresser. Um, and then I've got the mummy and daddy half pint mugs because the kids ones are actually the small ones. Um, and the, the big ones, they start from £20 and they are a pound per letter in. But at the time I got these, I think there was an offer on where you got 10 free letters. So it didn't actually cost a lot for me to get the personalisation done. And the teapot is the four pot, third person teapot and it's got the henshaws on it. And we also got this lovely little jug down here in the same pattern as well, which has got our wedding date on it. And this is the three pint jug. Um, i done a little bit of something silly. I don't know why I thought the one and a half pint jug would be quite large. Um, oh, half pint, sorry. And I've got the little spot one. I got this round about Christmas time. You may have seen it in one of my hauls. But I think I end up getting this for about £7, this little one. Because, you know, in the south, and it is a second, but because Emma Bridgewater is a premium brand, they normally mark off where a second is, but you've, you'll find it very hard to see where a second is on Emma Bridgewater stuff. Um, so I did have two items that have come up a little bit dodgy that second, which I'll talk about after. Um, and as I was rearranging, there's like a little chip that I need to go over from the dresser, but you know. So the free pint jug, I think I paid around about 35 pounds, something like that for it, because I know there was offers going on at the moment um, with the personalization. The personalized little mugs, they start from around 15 pound and yet again a pound per letter, but I think I just paid the 15 pound each for these mugs. These were a really lovely gift. We got these out of some of the money we got from our wedding and we got these and we just thought there was a nice little statement to put on here and start off our collection lovely. So we got the teapot, the two big mugs, the three smaller mugs for the kids, the little plate and the jug as well. So then I obviously was really obsessed with my bridge wall and then I wanted to carry it on. So the next set of patterns that I started to buy was the spot, um, so the little colourful spot, which is probably the most traditional pattern that most people buy. Um, so I managed to get this teapot round about last summer, and I ended up paying about £23 for that teapot. I'm pretty sure it was about that much, because it had gone into the sow, it was also a second, and then it had also been further reduced in the sow. So I got that really cheap. These are all four-person teapots, and um, I've only got one that's two-person teapot, and I'll show you that, that's in my kitchen dresser. Um, and then I got the three pint jug, which I think was about £30 in the sale. A lot of these items are seconds. The only ones that really weren't seconds were the set that I got when I got married and a couple of bits, which I'll show you on the other dresses. But all of these other things are actually seconds. So I do think you should have a little look because sometimes you really can't see what the problem is on them at all. Um, so the spot plates, when you get these in the sale, you can roughly get these for around about £10 in the sale. Usually they're about £19, which is quite pricey, but this is, if you're going to be collecting, it isn't a case of I just went out and got all of these plates in one go. I got them slowly, collected them, got a couple plates at a time. I normally get about two at a time, um, so I started off with the spot collection. 
and I really love it and I've also got a couple of mugs that are in the kitchen which I'll show you with the spot collection on. So then once I started to get the spot, I had the spots and the stripes, um, spots and the stars, and I thought, you know what, I really love the heart collection. And I think I was doing YouTube when I started to collect the heart collection. Um, so the heart plates, yet again, there was about £10. But how cute are these like little um, pasta dishes? So these are the medium pasta dishes. And if you look to the side, they're quite, well, I don't think I'm going to do that. Oh, <laughs> they sort of come out, they're deeper, like little pasta dishes. And they're really cute and they went down in the south they went down to about 14 pound and i've got a spot one i've got these all in one go i've got a spot one the winter stars one the blue stars and i also got the hearts one and i thought they'd be really good for when we have pasta and like them kind of dinners or like a risotto or carbonara and i'll use them and they're really lovely um and then also in the south this is recently i've got these in the mm -hmm. south i've got these little organic fruit plates so i say organic fruit greenery, lots of fruit. <laughs> and I've got two of them and they're the eight and a half inch plates. So these are like the smaller sort of sandwich plates that you'd get and I've got two of those. I also managed to get the little roses pattern, which I really love in the same pasta dish as what I've got. So now we've got five. So we've got for all, for all five of us if we're having it. And I've got myself with my birthday money, I managed to get this little um, three pint jug as well. And I think this was about 30. I'm not too sure, I do get a bit confused with these prices, but it does vary. Always have a look on the seconds on the outlet, um, outlet. and sometimes when they've got a sale, sometimes they do six for five, so sometimes you'll buy an item and you'll get the cheapest one free, like the sixth item for free. Um, so then I got two of the roses plates as well, one of them was currently in the kitchen. So I'm just gonna go through. Also while I was collecting the hearts, I managed to pick up this teapot. One of the teapots was full price. Now the teapots are expensive. This teapot isn't a second. Um, one in the kitchen is. Now these uh, teapots aren't seconds. They're about £59, which is a hell of a lot of money. But like I've mentioned before, I tend to use either someone buys them for me for Christmas or birthdays, or you know when you get gifted money, or people might get me Emma Bridgewater vouchers, and then they know I collect this, so I'll go out and purchase these. By no means is this just something that you pick up once you, well, you may, but I don't just pick these up randomly in the week. These tend to be things that are really special, mean something to me. And I pick them up when I have an event. And I go, oh, do you know what? I got that out of my nan's money. So when people are no longer here, or, you know, if you live too far away, it's nice because you see them and you think of the person that bought them for you. Um, so, yes. And also, I got the heart teapot. This is the four-person teapot as well. The roses, sorry. The roses, not the heart. And I think this one's really lovely as well. And I think this was about 30 as well, roughly around that stamp, this is the second. And you'll notice as well, I've got a few little mugs scattered about as well. So I'm loving these little, these are the small mugs. These are tiny mugs. Most of the mugs I have are half pint, but I really love these little miniature ones. These are perfect for the kids when you have like a little hot chocolate. And I've got five of these little ones because the boys will use the little stars ones. Millie likes to have them out of the little heart one. And I just thought, me and Gary, we come home, have a little hot chocolate when it's autumn, like my favourite sort of time in winter. And I just thought they're really, really sweet little mugs. They're perfect. And a lot of these have little patterns on the inside as well, which is just really, really sweet. I definitely think Emma Bridgewater is worth something collecting. The two little jugs, the little green spot and the green check, they're actually from, one's from um, Ashley Thomas from Debenhams years ago, and the little check one's from Sainsbury's Home, but I do love them. It doesn't have to be completely Emma Bridgewater, and I do think they blend in quite nicely. So hopefully I've explained them sort of patterns. Also, this sort of bright star pattern, this is also a Christmas collection, so if you can't get this or this pattern, it is because they were Christmas patterns. Sorry, sorry guys, that may have stopped. My phone actually ran out of battery, even though it still had like 15%. My phone is really playing up at the moment. I need to have a new battery inserted into it. I think it's because I use it so much now for all the YouTube videos. Um, so we're currently now in my kitchen, um, and this is where we'll continue with the Emma Bridgewater stuff that I have. So we've put up some new shelving that I got. Um, I've done it on a YouTube video, I showed you these already. Um, and they're from a company called Jester Home. And I just thought it was really lovely. They're like the little short depth, perfect enough to sort of like showcase some of my mugs I got from like Mother's Days. Um, so the little rose pattern one, I just added up there because I think it's nice to have four up there. And that was just one that I bought in the sale. That was a half pint one. Um, but the like mother, like daughter has, they tend to have stuff written on the backs of them. So Mother's Day every day. Mother hen one, 
was also purchased for me. So that was, um, it's got Mother Hill on the background as well on the other side. And then this one, the She Is Wise, Kind and Loves Donuts, that was a Mother's Day one, I believe, but Gary got it for me in the second day. I think it was about last summer time. I was feeling a bit poorly, was having migraines quite a lot of the time, and they picked it up for me to cheer me up. And the back of this one reads, my mum is beautiful, and on the inside it says she loves fish and chips on rainy days. And I just think they look really, really cute up there. I've also got another stars and little mini mugs and like the little rose one because these are the ones that the kids drink out of. So they're sort of like for cups of teas on most days and I tend to use these ones quite a lot. Sorry, we do live in a coastal area and currently the seagulls are having a, a play and ga playing games in the garden. Um, so I think they look really cute on their showcase. I've also got these out ready. I, I have got some Christmas here at Bridgewater but they are packed away proper tightly. So at Christmas, I'll get all that out and show you. These ones I haven't packed, though, I'm not sure why. Um, so the other Emma Bridgewater stuff as well, I do love their wooden stuff they have. And I got this little egg holder, and it says a dozen eggs. I think this was around about £28 for sale, which is still yet again a lot of money, but I do purchase these around about Christmas time on my birthday in the sale. And it's lovely because they always tend to have sales around about the same time as my birthday, which was in May, the end of May. Or well, they have one not, not long after, so it's quite nice if I get to spend my birthday money or at Christmas time I'll get these. So I've got my personalised rosy pumpkin mug, which I love. The kids have also got a small one of these pumpkin pans, which I need to find. I've currently got the charger there, which has been charging. Um, and I also got the trick or treat plate. Now the trick or treat plate I managed to pick up about a month ago, and it was in the sale for about five and a half pound, which was I thought was brilliant. But it's really worth putting it away and saving it for when Halloween comes. So then we've got a little plate to have our like, little cakes and stuff on our biscuits, and me and the kids have all got a little pumpkin mug as well. Also in the sale, I picked up the Hot Cross Buns Easter. So I don't really have any Easter stuff at the moment um, from the Emma Bridgewater, but I would like to get it. But because I'm such a bargain hunter, I don't want to be spending hundreds and hundreds of pounds. So I'd rather wait until it all goes in the sale and then just have it put away for next Easter. So I got this for about £7, the little plate. Also, I've got this one. So this mug I got when Harry and Meghan got married. So I know that was the 19th of May. It was around about two days after my birthday. I say round about, but it was two days after my birthday. So I got this, and I managed to get this for a fiver. I'm not too sure why, but I managed to get that for a fiver. That was about a month after they got married, but I think it was because everyone had sort of bought them for the royal wedding, and then obviously they knew they weren't going to be selling after that, so I managed to get this one. I wasn't collecting Emma Bridgewater when William and Kate got married, but I thought it would have been quite nice if I'd have managed to do that. And also when they had the royal babies like George, Charlotte and Louis, that would have been really nice to have them, but obviously... That was way before I started collecting them. Um, well, no, I actually was collecting, but I wasn't a collector. I didn't realise I was a collector at the time. I'd just got my wedding stuff. Um, so, I've also got the Poppy Appeal mug. Now, Emma Bridgewater sometimes collaborates. So they have, like, Mary, Mary Curie and a few ones where the money goes to the charity. So, this was, in 2018, I believe, I purchased this. And this was the Royal British Legion, and this was for the centenary World War One. So, a profit of that would go towards the Poppy Appeal. And I love drinking out of that around about November time. I do have a Guy Fawkes mug somewhere for, uh, for the 5th of November I drink out of it. It's ridiculous, but it's got about Guy Fawkes on it. And I'm not sure where I put it. <laughs> but I'm crazy like that. I'll pack it away. It's probably in the Christmas box, to be fair. But I tend to get all my stuff out around about November anyway and start sorting for it. So it probably has gone in there. So these are my little like seasonal bits as well as the dozen eggs come over to here i've also got the little emma bridgewater butter dish and um, which my sister got me for last christmas which is really cute but i just put my sweetness in it and like some additional tea bags you know what you're getting like a hamper or something that i don't use and um, so i've put them in there which i think is really cute and i managed to get around about christmas time the serving platter and i think these are normally about 60 pound but i paid about 28 30 pounds for this which i absolutely love it's ginormous it's perfect for like christmas time or when you have people over or even serving loads of sandwiches for an afternoon tea so i put that on the side and i think that's really cute so that is it for the emma bridgewater in this section and i've got a few like sorry there's like a messy garden like hand soaps and stuff um yeah am i gonna sorry i'm like make everyone really dizzy Got my cup of tea on the side. Honestly, there's like just mess everywhere at the minute. I've got to clear it all up. And then this is my last like little area of an Emma Bridgewater dresser. So I've got the long pasta tin, which I think was about eight pounds in the sale, which I managed to get, which I love. 
And I've also got on here the smaller plates. I've got a lot more of the eight and a half inch plates and these tend to be about £8.95. They're really weird pricing, but £8.95 for these. So I managed to get the Winter Stars from last year, the Hearts one and the Spot one. I roughly got these about the same time as when I picked up that pattern. So when I was collecting the Spot pattern, I picked up the Spot plates and vice versa like with the, the Heart patterns. And Gary for one birthday got me this little two pint mug, um, teapot and he wrote a cup of rosy which I thought was really cute because that's obviously like East London saying so I'll put you know do me a cup of rosy rosy lee means tea and obviously my name's rosy and I thought that was quite a good play on words and he got me the little mug to go with it the half pint mug with my nickname everyone in my family all my friends call me Roro so got me the little heart mug to match which I thought was really really cute and um, one father's day I bought the star print teapot because I thought you know what Gary loves a pot of tea but I'm not demasculating most of the time by drinking out of all my like, fancy pink ones. So I thought I'll get a blue star teapot for us to drink out of. And I got the Union Jack mug in the sale. And I think that was about £15 and that was also a second. And then for one Father's Day I got in the blue star daddy mug. And at the beginning when I did start buying the spot pattern, before I bought the original spot teapot, I did get the spot teapot in the sale. So I think that was about 28 at the time. It wasn't as good a deal as the other spot teapot. But I got for £10 each the mummy and the daddy mugs to go with it. So we had a special teapot with our cups to drink out of. Also at the time of Christmas when I managed to pick up the Bright Star Pasta Dish, they had this mug for like £5.95. So I got this and they also had the empty candle holder. So this is currently, if I can reach, oh, in the shape of a star but it's not filled. Um, so you have to put oh, your own candle in it. And then I've got my mum mug, which is of the same winter star pattern as this plate. I got these last Christmas. And I've got the mum mug when I went with my friends to the Bury St Edmunds, Edmund Christmas market, which is just, which I love. And I'm also going to show you my dodgy seconds, which I have got now. So you can see there is the rare occasion where a second will turn up and it might be a little bit naff. But I would say on the whole, the amount of stuff that I've collected and most of it being seconds, most of it is pretty good standard. And um, so I managed to pick up this pansy pattern. So this was in the discontinued range. I only paid about £5.95 for that. I got the Love is Love mug a few, I'd say a few months back. And I got it at the same time as I got the rose mug. So this was the first thing I got in the rose pattern. And these were £19 each. But I love this because this is for pride. Um, and then it says all shapes and sizes, love is love. And then on the background it says peace and love, which I love all the bright colours. And I just think that's lovely. And I also got the suffragettes of women, like votes for women mug, which I think is beautiful. And I always drink out this one. I've currently got like a little sign in there because it fell off the dresser. And um, it's 1918, 2018 and 100 years of votes for women. And I love drinking out of that one. And um, so these are the other roses and spots plates that I showed you that was in the dresser. And I said they was in the kitchen as well. But look, this star plate that I got for Gary in the seconds, I managed to get this for about seven pounds something. If you look up really closely, the glaze is really damaged. And to be completely honest, a very bobbly texture, um, which is fine because it's not really a big deal because you don't really see that once it's on the dresser. But I'd hate to say order seconds and then the first thing you order turns up like that. I'm quite lucky really because that was probably like one of the most latest things that I purchased that was a second uh, turn up like that. So I was quite aware that most of the seconds turn up in quite a good standard. Um, so yeah, and then I've got the two part, the four part, four part mug, four part, <laughs> four mug teapot in the spot again, and the heart. Now currently about five hours later than when you saw the filming previously, and I'm on to the last thing that I have from Emma Bridgewater, which is this lovely little wallflower, wallflower pattern tray. Um, a lot of their metal stuff is quite cheap. Some of the tins you can pick up for about six pound. And this one was about four and a half pound. But this was meant to be about eight pound full price. But I got it in the sale because it's like a discontinued pattern. They're not selling anymore. So I thought that would be it. And I will show you the last bits. So I'm just going to go out to the hallway. We've not long been home. And I've come home to a completely charged phone. <laughs> which is lovely. Trick of magic, I'm in clothes, guys, rather than my pyjamas. And actually looking a little bit more worse for wear. I've got a tiny bit burnt, even though I've been wearing sun cream, but it's extremely hot where we are at the moment. And we obviously live at the end of the road from the beach. So we've been to the beach all day. 
in the sea and stuff. So I've just, you know, it's one of them days. And I've come back and thought I'd film the last bit for you. So I do apologise, the film's a little bit like muffled up. I've got an app where I can squish all the videos together, but I can't edit to make it more seamless. But, you know, that's what you're going to get with me. <laughs> if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, that'd be fantastic. Thank you again for all the lovely comments. And if you press the notification bell, that'll let you know when any of my videos have been updated, like uploaded. Don't forget to give it a like if you liked it. Like a little thumbs up. <laughs> Is there a thumbs up there? So I've been Rosie Henshaw. Take care. See you later. Bye.